This is the closest in the real world we can get to magic fireballs. Have you ever wondered what happens when we test them in combat? Let's try it. Nate, Yo. carry this. Whoa! Where would you call professionals? Here at Shadowversity, we like doing dumb things. Yeah, we do. Usually with fire for some reason. And today is, well, no different. Mm. Uh, what we're going to test today is fireballs. The closest thing we can get to like real magic for the most part. True. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to oh, take this and yeah. I'm going to throw this at you, Nate. At uh, me? Yeah, you better start running. I don't want to... Ah! Ow! Should be a good video. Should be good. Yeah. Today we're going to be testing real fireballs, at least the closest we can get to, to in real life. Real yeah. Life, yeah. So something that I've actually noticed before when doing LARPing is that fireballs do an insta kill, depending on the rule set. I personally think as an adventurer, you might have a magical sword, magical shield. So I'd like to test it unarmed. I'd like to test it with a sword, maybe two, yep. and then with a shield. See if I can right. actually block the fireball and approach uh, you for a kill. Right. So, the, all right. I like that. Uh, but what do we want to go for like in terms of rules? So if I hit you, should we consider that an instant kill? Absolutely. If okay. you hit me, I think I think it's considered you have exploded your target. And I'm probably going to be on fire and we'll have to take off my vest right. and everything else. Okay, so there's a few... We've worked with fire... <laughs> believe it or not. A little bit. We've worked with fire a bit here. <laughs> so uh, there's a couple of things. First off, I'm going to be wearing gloves. Now, we don't have like uh, proper fireproof gloves. We have fire resistant, I would call them. I'd call them fire resistant gloves. But something we're going to have to worry about, if you're throwing the fireballs at me, I need to wear as much fire retardant gear as possible. Now, we don't have a lot of that mm. here, but what I do have have is natural fiber reenactment clothing. Right. So this medieval hood, funnily enough, will be about as good as what we need mm. for today. And obviously I'll wear safety glasses in case the fireball actually hits me in the eye. Don't hit me in the eye. I'll try not to. Uh, but in terms of the gloves that I'm going to be wearing, they don't have very good dexterity and they're the more the more fire you get on, the more they turn to stone. Yeah. So my aim is probably going to be a little bit off today. I'm, I'm going to preface this because first off, I don't have full range of motion wearing all my kit and the gloves that I'm going to be wearing to protect my hands. Uh, they, they, they're not very good for throwing things. I feel like this is preemptive excuses, but you know, we'll just go with it. We'll go with it. All right. So why don't we start off with just unarmed? See, <laughs> I don't know why we would test that. Arm. I feel like this is just going to be real quick. <sighs> I'll try to dodge. Okay. I'll okay. see how I go. Okay. Uh, but then after that, what we'll do is we'll go into a single sword. Yep. Uh, after that, why don't we go for a double sword? Yeah. I feel like that would be pretty useful in this. Yeah, I'll see how I can go. I think if uh, I can deflect with a sword, either on single or double, if I can deflect with a sword, we'll say half damage. Fair enough. And then we'll finish off with the shield. Shield, which I think is really going to be the, the winner, but I see how we go. All right, let's get started. So here I have my fireball, and I'm going to be throwing this at an unarmed nate down there, just to see if he can dodge it, or see if he can do anything, really. So, ah, this, this is getting hot. Let's, uh, let's get started. Oh! Oh! Two meters! Yes! The pass back! So, I've got another fireball here, and I've got an extra one as well. So I'm going to light both of those. Now Nate's got a sword. Let's see how he goes. Let's do this.
Now we've got a big boy here, and Nate has got a shield. Yeah. Let's see how he goes. You ready? Well, that was interesting. You know, at Shadowversity, we have one simple, simple, simple rule. <laughs> yeah, no fingies. No fingies. But fire doesn't listen to that rule, man. Yeah, so first off, before we talk about any of the combat stuff, like throwing and stuff, I want to talk about gloves. Yeah. Here are the gloves that I use. These have become yeah. a hammer. They are absolutely rock solid. Not only that, they've got a big cut down them right there. Oh, is that why you were throwing them off? Like yeah, he was so, flicking them off. So the fire was going straight into my hands. That uh, makes sense. It became ridiculous in the end. However, this isn't something that you would have to worry about if you had magic, which I think is actually really good. No, yes, because if you are a mage, you should be able to, one, hold the fireball. Now we're talking, again, we're talking about fireballs that actually are fireballs yeah. compared to little beads of explosions. Yeah. But I feel like you'd be able to hold it for a little while and then just peg it whenever you need to. Yeah, not only that, but so something, because consider this like a smaller scale star test, right? Like we couldn't throw 40 foot giant. Uh, not yet. But we found that we were able to inflict a lot of damage upon everything. Yeah, now I said at the start of the video that I thought if I blocked it with the blade, that I'd be able to take half damage. Yeah. I think that if the block wasn't successful, like the, we got one where I blocked, mm. but it just hit me in the head anyway. Oh yeah, it actually it, it burnt. A little, I've got a little, I call it a half degree burn, not even a, not even a first degree burn. And this is why I'm thankful about the safety that we were using. The layers that I can easily strip off if I needed to, mm. worked quite well, but that still would have been a kill shot. That was like, even after blocking it, direct head. So I feel like if I still get hit in the head, it kind of counts as a kill shot. Right. But something I do want to mention is, I was actually, <laughs> surprisingly, I actually wasn't prepared for this. I was able to set you on fire multiple times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is true. Like, I, I uh, sort of went to go and tend to the fire around Chediversity and, and realized like, that I was actually on fire as well. So when I was hitting you up in the shoulder areas, and even on the head, it didn't actually stay alight. But as soon as I got you in around this larger portion, yeah, it, it actually sort of exploded and stayed on fire. And I feel like that may have been like the fuel mix. So it could have been that could have been a modern problem, modon solution, because the fuel itself would soak into the fabric. Well, I don't whereas it's really that much of a big deal because imagine if we were using like actual magic, would have first off bigger fireballs. Yeah, that's true. Which would be probably hotter as well. So and if we were using something historical like Greek fire, that would have soaked in and been more like a napalm. Yeah. So I think that actually kind of counts. Yeah. Uh, but in terms of the combat, I felt, first off, I feel like I wasn't throwing as well as I could have been today. First no. off, I just had, I had no dexterity. I mean, usually I'll, your aim's pretty on point. I'll today show it was off. I'll actually show you guys right now because I don't think he we... has permanent throwing hand now in this. That That's <laughs> what I've got here. That's it. I don't know if you can hear that can crustiness. Even... Hang on. It's, it's like, like Mr. It's like, Krabs. It's like plastic, yeah. Mr. Krabs. I have no dexterity here. My fingers are about here. The ends of my fingers. So I have... <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> I, I, I have no dexterity. So basically throwing is kind of like... Eh, throwing that way. And I was able to... I was able to get you, though. That's true. But I feel like for a standard throw, not a magical throw, but for a standard throw, if it was too far away, it doesn't count. Really easy to dodge. It was only when I got closer that it was actually easier for you to hit me. Well, that's where I think the like the, the environmental damage becomes an issue because when you dodged out of the way, I was anticipating where you would dodge and I may have missed you, but I would set everything else on fire. <laughs> yeah, so there's a trope that a lot of you will know in D&D, which is like, you don't set off the fireball in the tavern. That is so true. I think we spent more time today doing damage control and yeah. this is like, it's been raining. It's been nice here yeah. at Shadowversity. We still had to do damage control. So yeah, environmental damage, yeah. And what, what I found was so interesting is like, it doesn't look that scary. They, on the camera, they might, I hope they look good. And I don't, I'm not sure what you guys would have seen in Hopefully. motion, but as soon as they hit something solid, they are like, they are gen, a genuine fireball. And I can tell you as well, that audio of hearing it like on the dodges or on the deflections, hearing that go past you, it's a little intimidating. I've yeah. got to give it, I've got to give it. So I think when it comes to the sword, you don't, you don't really actually have a chance, especially if you're on target. No, like I could block with the flat kind yeah. of sometimes, but then it's just going to blah. It no. felt kind of like a medieval Jedi. 
<laughs> demanding blaster bolts. I know, it's, it's hard to keep up with, it really is. Uh, but then why don't we move on to the shield? Now, shield, this is an interesting one because I feel like it's dependent on the type of shield you have as well. And kind of the type, a big shield. it is, it is. And kind of the type of fireball as well, I suppose, like if it's an explosive fireball, really wouldn't have worked. So I think there's, there's a lot of caveats for this one. There are. In terms of a functionality score, now I'm a bit, I'm a bit hesitant to give this a functionality score because usually we try to reserve this for actual things. That's uh, true, but yeah. if magic was real, I can't even make a point. If magic was real, oh, I feel like this would be about an eight. Obviously it depends on what type of shield is used, what type of sword, but Overall, if you can throw a fireball at an opponent, there is just so much you can do with that. Yeah, because like, it, it, it's a ranged weapon, but you like you would have unlimited amount of them. Like when I had more than one, three, like it was a non-stop type deal. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but we tried to simulate magic as best as possible. It's, it's hard. Yeah, and I feel magic's, like, magic's not real, guys. I don't know if you don't. It's, it's, I mean, true enough. Magic's not real, but I kind of feel like I'm always getting hit. So like, I don't what? know, like. Oh, that's a fire sword. Yeah, right? that's a fire sword. Uh, we've already tested this one. The yeah, video's going to be right here, guys. Your turn to get hit. Check the video out. It's a good go, one. Go grab a shield. No, no, no. I'm yeah, good. go grab a shield. I'm good. Video's it. Pretty good. Go. Go try it out. Come back. <laughs>